Okay, now you're recording. Yep. So let me start over. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. There's going to be 42 point questions that are going to be multiple choices. There's going to be probably four out of six um, short answers, and they're going to be five points each. So it'll be 80 percent multiple choice, 20 percent short answers, and you're going to get some version of choice. The way that I grade these is I want you to show me what you know. So when you were doing the bonus thing today, there were a lot of really good answers in that bonus thing. If you write me an answer that's worth more than five points, I will give you more than five points on the answer. So as long as you can be specific and you can relate what you're talking about, as a number of you did with the budget, you were really cutting it close. Your answers from that group back there really played in nicely. So you can make connections. I'll Don't give you seven. <laughs> yeah, your group, yeah. Yeah, y'all are gonna be the first thing people watch. Nobody's gonna watch that video. They're gonna be like, what the hell is he teaching? And then they're just gonna turn it off. <laughs> but, but anyway, the bottom line on this is, the more that you show me you know, the more that, that you'll be able to be rewarded. Your names are gonna be in these questions. I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna write this probably starting tonight. And what I will do is I'm not gonna give you test generated questions, but I'm gonna give you questions that are gonna be dealing with different concepts that you're gonna to have to apply. So with this in mind, it's not gonna be, uh, y'all are gonna be doing some of the things that were going on in the articles. As far as the articles are concerned, the bulk of them are gonna be, uh, a number of them are probably gonna end up being short answer questions, almost because they have to be. So with this in mind, be able to explain like the controversy or be able to explain you know, the differences between several opinions. Or for multiple choice purposes, I will lay out the facts and you'll say, okay, this came from such and such an article, and then I'll ask you which of the following is most likely to happen. So with this in mind, if you get the article, then indeed you're gonna be able to apply it. Now, I'm not gonna try and fool you with what I put on here, but I am gonna try and fool you with how it gets on there. So with this in mind, be really clear, and that's why I've been saying all along, be specific, be specific. Now this that you've got, and if you want to pass this around, write this down? actually just pass it around for now. I, I've got this posted online under study terms. So I've got some terms from the different chapters. And as you look at this, if anything jumps out that you have questions on, we can go ahead and start with those. If you've got anything that you've got questions about in reference to articles, we can start there. We can just go ahead and start with chapter one. But on this, this is designed to kind of narrow down, if you will, the terms from those outlines. And then, of course, you've got the chapter questions. So as we get started from chapter one, is there anything that, that y'all were a little bit unclear about? Yeah, the fourth question where it says, what is politic or Dawson height? Okay, politic for Dawson height. Okay, from the first chapter, and that was question four, right? Yeah. Okay, it's on page six. It says here, and this is the third line in the global perspectives box, it says, both Europe and America seem to have experienced a flight from politics, or what the Germans call politic for for Dawson height a weakness about its debates, disbelief about its claims, skepticism about its results, cynicism about its practitioners. So it's basically saying that you don't trust the government. Basically saying that, and we suffer from that in the United States. Now, Pierce, as you look at that, is there anything that jumps out that you're really not sure what, what you see? I don't remember the Virginia plan. Virginia plan. What was the Virginia plan? Uh, that was when Virginia wanted to base off population for when they were trying to make a new constitution. Population or? So Virginia plan was, is that the last one or is that the first one? That they Virginia tried? plan was actually the one that was the first one, yes. The first one, so it was just based off population for the lower house and the lower house would elect, would select the people that end up in the higher house. Okay, New Jersey plan and the Virginia plan were the population ones, okay? They were the plans dealing with representation. Virginia plan basically said, we as the bigger states want not just the lower house, but we want the whole thing yeah, okay. based on either population or wealth. So the thought was whether you base it on money or whether you base it on people, we're going to get more seats, so we're going to have a bigger voice, and we deserve that. The New Jersey plan said what? Because New Jersey was a small state. They wanted it just equal representation. New Jersey state. wanted equal. Why did they want it equal? So that their voice would be heard as equal as the bigger states. Thought so what? Kind of thrown under the carpet. Yeah, the thought was is that if you base it on population, we might get swallowed in this. If you base it on equality, of course, then we're going to have our voice the same as everybody else. Of course, that upset the big states yeah. because they're like, well, we got more people, we got more taxes, we want a bigger voice. 
Connecticut Compromise, or the Great Compromise, is what they came up with. And what did they do in the Connecticut Compromise that balanced these two? The lower house was based on population. Or the Virginia the plan. House, yeah, and the higher house was just based on equal states. And or the, the New Jersey plan. That all economic issues would go through the lower house. When you're saying higher and lower house, what are you talking about? The higher house is the Senate, the lower house is the House of Representatives. Yeah, the House of Representatives was the one that was going to be based on population, and then the United States Senate would be based on equality. So the House was based on the Virginia plan, and the Senate was based on the New Jersey plan. The New Jersey plan. Any, any other questions that, that you guys had um, from the transparency or? Is that oligarchy or something? Oligarchy. Oligarchy, I don't know that we talked a whole lot about. Actually, I think we did. Oligarchy is ruled by the few. Oligarchy is ruled by the few. So when we were talking about democracy and in the beginning how the declaration was kind of revolutionary, what you see is that you had oligarchies back then which was ruled by the few. You had theocracy back then which was ruled by the religious, by religion. And this was revolutionary compared to those other kinds of things. Compared to those other kinds of things. What else have y'all got? What was the 111? What was 111? One of the first things we talked about, 111. Go ahead. Isn't that the number of changeovers in America that we've had successfully? Changeovers? Of no. Congress and like number of votes we've had. Number of elections. There have been 111 peaceful elections in American history. So when you think about it, whether it's been a changeover from Democrat to Republican, or whether it's been Democrats just re-electing Democrats, Obama's election was the 111th peaceful election without any, not without any controversy, but without any issue where somebody that lost, you know, ultimately tried to take over the government or something like that. Basically, they, they just respected the rule of the election and of the voters. Yeah, 111 consecutive elections. That's right. That's right. Those aren't just for president, but for Yeah, for so. this is Congress, the midterm election. So every two years, basically, since the beginning of the country, that's the number of, of peaceful elections we've had. What else do y'all have? Um, I know you said a lot of the tests 